Hello everybody, today I'm going to be showing you how to make this DIY Harry Potter wand stand. The one that is displaying, I have done a video on, so if you go to my channel you'll be able to find that. But today I'm going to be showing you how to make the stand. It's really easy, really quick, so let's get going. Okay, so to make the stand you're going to want to get two small pieces of foam board. You want them to be the same size and however big you want the face of your stand to be is how big you want to cut them. You want to get two chopsticks four two pence coins or whatever is the same kind of size in your currency you can see how big they are in my hand there and you want to get your glue gun I didn't use my glue gun in this video I used this glue purely because I didn't want to set up my glue gun and wait for it to heat up if I could avoid it but the glue, this glue did not work so in the end I did have to get my glue gun you want your chopsticks to be maybe a centimetre in either side. I just kind of eyeballed it and guessed where I wanted them to be. And then you just want to use a exacto knife to cut just a little hole in it just so your chopsticks can fit in. The hole doesn't need to be really deep and have the chopsticks going through to the other side. It just needs to be deep enough so they can rest in it. Next, you just want to put some glue on one of your foam boards and stick them together, obviously making sure that the holes you've made are on the top. Now we're going to turn it over and stick your four coins onto the bottom side in the four corners. It doesn't matter what coins you use, it's just to add a little bit of weight and make sure that the stand doesn't topple over. So as long as you've got a fairly heavy coin, I use 2p because they're a low currency and it's not wasting money. This stage isn't necessary, I've got this garden support cane stuff, it's used to support flowers when they're growing, but I've just cut it into lengths, I've worked out obviously how long they need to be, and I'm sticking them along the bottom of my stand, just to hide all the rough edges where I've cut the foam board. I'll leave a link to what it is in the description box, but it's really really cheap if you buy it on Amazon or Ebay. This glue is working really fine at this stage, it's just when it comes to sticking in the chopsticks that it doesn't work. I've poured a little bit of it into the holes and then I put the chopsticks in. It doesn't set for some reason so just do the same thing but use a glue gun instead. Put them in. You'll have to hold them for a minute to support them. And then I've just put a little bit of glue onto the chopsticks just to hold, just to stick them together. But again, just do the whole thing exactly as I have, just use a glue gun instead. Also, I didn't mention, I've stuck the chopsticks with the pointy end into the little holes that I've made. You can probably do it the other way, but that way works best for me. I've mixed some brown and orange paint and it's kind of made this sort of, it is a brown colour but it's got an orange hint to it. I did a coat of that and then I mixed a little bit more brown and did a second coat, so I had a little bit more of a brown tinge when I finished, but I actually really like this colour. The reason I made it such a light um, brown is because I knew that my wand would be a dark brown and I wanted them to stand out and didn't want it to blend together. Obviously you can paint your stand whatever colour you want. I was considering doing mine blue, I thought it looked quite cool in my house colour because I'm a raven girl. Okay so when I'd given it the second coat and painted the bottom bit black and just finished it off, this is what it looked like. I didn't film all this because I didn't feel it was necessary, you obviously all know how to paint, so I just thought I'd skip to the end. Um, it's not the neatest finish, the glue doesn't look perfect, but that doesn't bother me. Obviously, if you would like it to look more neat, just spend a little bit more time with the glue. But overall, I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. So here is my stand sitting on my shelf displaying my wand. I made the Elder Wand from Harry Potter. If you would like to see how I made this, there is a tutorial on my channel, so go check that out if you'd like to have a go. I think it looks really cool. The wand sits in the stand really nicely. I struggled to put it back in because I was looking through the camera. But I'm really, really happy with how it turns out. If you have a go at this, please send me some pictures. The links to my Twitter and Pinterest and stuff will be in the description box. So good luck if you do have a go and I will see you later.